I made the biggest mistake of my life while collecting Pokemon cards. Let me explain. So back in 2016, when Pokemon wasn't as nearly as hyped as it's now, or in 2020, I bought a CP6 Japanese Pokemon booster box that was celebrating the 20th anniversary. At the time, I paid $100, and now it's going for almost 2000 Actually, at one point, it did. So you're probably thinking, I should be happy that I got a chance to open such a great set before it went up in price. Well, here's the deal. In that box, I pulled the Hollow Charizard, the, the card that everyone wants. And even back then, I knew it must be worth at least something. Even though I really liked the card, I decided to put it up for auction on eBay. One thing I want to make myself clear is that that same card was only going for $20 to $30 at the time. And I expected similar numbers. But it ended at $10. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not joking. And that's a car that at one point was going for hundreds. Sure, at the time that wasn't the worst price because it was going for only two to three times the amount, but now it's a completely different story. I see a lot of people making the same mistakes as I did, but one thing I realized that you shouldn't give in to FOMO. FOMO means fear of a missing out. This can also apply to wanting cards and getting in the hype of either buying or selling new cards. FOMO is very dangerous and if you can combat it, you can be undefeated. So the moral of the story is, don't sell cards you don't want to sell because in the future, it might be worth a lot. Also today's sponsor for this video is NordVP. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't have a sponsor. <laughs> but maybe if you liked and subscribed, maybe one day I can. So. Please subscribe, I'm broke.